Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today, looking at how to block the Windows 10 May 2019 update, also known as Build 1903, due at the end of May. It is a large feature update, unlike your usual security stuff. So there's a few ways to do this. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons as we go. Using a third-party app, these are all free, tested by Major Geeks. Some have video tutorials, screenshots, and they're all rated five stars. These are the four we would pick because they're recently updated. I don't want to bother with the ones that weren't updated in the last year or two because they may not work anymore. So there is one of the easy ways to do it. You can almost bail out of the video now and just go down one of these four. We will put a link to this page in the video description so you can jump to it. Windows 10 Home or Pro, I don't like this option for either one, it is an option only really for Windows 10 Home for a quick, I think, seven day pause. So we'll go to your start. We'll do this real quick. Settings, network and internet. Find your internet connection, whether it's Ethernet or, as you can see here, Wi Fi. So once you click on that, look for your settings right here. And just scroll down, set as metered connection, and turn it on. That should stop Windows from downloading it because it's a large update. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Windows 10 Home, that might be what you need, and you'll have to come back later and disable the metered connection, as you can see. So Windows 10 Pro, as always, you have a lot more options. Let's go to Start, Control Panel, and head down to your Update and Security. And go to your Advanced Options right here. You've got a couple options here. Scroll on down. I think it's the default is 35 days. Yes, right here. Pause updates. All you gotta do is hit this button. You're done for 35 days. Now, we can go even farther by coming down here and choose when updates are installed. As you can see, here's your feature update. Here's your quality update. Please leave your quality update alone. That tends to be more security settings and not the larger feature updates. Security settings are almost always required. So you have up here semi-annual channel, which should be where you want to be, or semi-annual -chan semi channel targeted, tongue twister. So essentially, semi-annual channel is means it's widespread. So you can actually pick that and change it, but I wouldn't. So in other words, by the time your semi-annual channel updates show up, they are already tested and ready to go. So leave it right here at semi-annual channel targeted and come right here and click on this box. And you can choose from as many as 365 days. Now, frankly, that is the way to go for Windows 10 Pro. Now, another option is group policy editor. Now, here's the catch with this. There's really no point in doing this with Windows 10 Pro because, as you saw, you have complete control. You can go in there and let's say you know the Windows 10 update's coming in 30 days, you want to block for 60, just set it to 60 days. Now, Group Policy Editor has an advantage that by following this guide right here, it will take you to a page that shows you how to enable Group Policy Editor in the Windows 10 Home Edition. So if you have Windows 10 Home and you want more control, this is what you want to do for Windows 10 Home. So we will briefly show you once you have it installed, you'll press the Windows key plus R and type in gpedit.msc. Then you want to come over here so you can see computer configuration, administrative templates, keep expanding, Windows components, and one more time to Windows Update and Windows Update for Business. Right here, you'll see select when preview builds and feature updates are received. This is what you're looking for. Double click that and up it pops. So not configured is the default in group policy editor, but if you click on enabled, you see this is grayed out. It now gives you the options to do what you want. So once again, as we just did earlier, switch your preview build or whatever you're set up to and go to semi-annual channel targeted as we discussed. Now. Here you can set the days again up to 365, I believe. But here's a neat feature. So let's say I did this video April 17th. So I know for a fact that that May update could be the end of May. So that could be another 45 days away. So what you could actually do is say, well, I'm going to pause it for 30 days or 45 days and put your date in here. So for example, 2019, let's say 05 for May, 1st of May. So, whoops. 
So the 1st of May, you know it's going to come out in 30 days, so change it to 60. So now you know somewhere in those 30 days of May, the update comes out, and you've got at least 30 days where it's not going to update. So all you got to do then is hit apply and then hit OK. And that's pretty much it. So I really like it for Windows 10 Home because it puts a little power back in your hands that you don't have. But again, don't forget, you can always just grab a free app. I mean, I've used Stopped Updates 10 in my virtual machine and it works great. And, and all four of them work great. So there you go. But if you want to do it the uh, manual way, because it is major geeks, uh, geek out and go nuts and play with the group policy editor. Why not? There you go. So... As always, down in the bottom right corner in the last seconds of the video, there'll be a little Major Geeks logo. You click that, you can subscribe. And if we helped you out, click like. Any comments, please leave them. We read them all. And even as geeks, we write these guides. And somebody says, hey, you forgot this, you forgot that. So we like to update our guides as needed, and things do change. So comments, feedback, always welcome. Thank you so much for watching, as always. See you next time.